Hello, and welcome to the 256th edition of Beer Issues. My name is Matt Burkett, and I'm coming to you live here from Casa de Burkett, where we're having another very good beer. Today, from Oyster City Brewing, uh, we are going to be having their mangrove, or mangrove, or whatever you want to call it. But anyway, this is a uh, pale ale that they then add um, mango to during the brewing process. So um, even though it's a pale ale, it falls under the fruit and field category because of the fact that they do add the fruit into it uh, during the brewing process. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and pour this and we'll talk about it. Now, one nice thing about this beer is it's, they're not shy on the alcohol. This beer uh, comes in at 8.2% alcohol by volume, which for most fruit and uh, field beers, that's pretty high. It also rates 85, 100, 85 out of 100 as a very good beer. Um, so let's go ahead and let's talk about the smell and see what kind of smells we get out of this. Now I have had this before, um, and I think they're actually, this Oyster City, it's, it's Oyster City Brewing is out of Apalachicola, but I think they're also brewing this at the Brew Hub, because I think I've seen it there before also. Let's go ahead and talk about it here. Mmm. So you're getting... A nice mango scent, obviously, because they did they brewed it with the mangoes, but you're also getting a little bit of hop in there. Um, they use the um, Centennial hops and the uh, Cascade hops, so uh, you're getting some hoppiness, but not like overly hopped. Um, so it gives it kind of a balance between the sweetness and the hoppiness. Okay, so. Mmm, the, the smell is heavenly. I can just sit there and smell it all day. And I'm not a giant mango fan, but the smell is phenomenal. And the beer, which I've had before, is really good. So let's waste no time. Let's dig in. I've been working outside a little bit. It's time to relax, have a little beer, and uh, I'll tell you about it. Now, let me tell you something. This beer right here is very good. I agree with the rating, very good. The reason that I like it is it's not too overpowering with the mango. It does have the mango sweetness, but it also has the light hops to kind of balance the sweetness from the mangoes. Um, Plus, with the alcohol, it's just a very enjoyable beer. And I would say probably 90% of the fruit beers that I have, I'm not a big fan of. This is something I could sit by the poolside, sit at the beach. Um, kind of high alcohol for sitting out in the sun at 8%, but... It's so refreshing that it's, you know, you could easily sit by the poolside or at the beach. Mm. And like I said, you're not gonna get too many beers that are this smooth that sits at 8%. Only way typically you're gonna get a smooth beer like this at 8% as if it's a Belgian, and you know, the Belgians are just masters of that. But th they did an outstanding job on this. And I've actually been to the Oyster City uh, Brewery, I believe, in Apalachicola. I think that's the brewery that we went to when we were over there. We were heading over, going camping, and we stopped in Apalachicola for some oysters, obviously. And uh, I think that I walked over and grabbed a beer from Oyster City uh, while I was there, but this has been years ago, so I don't, uh, but I'm pretty sure it was Oyster City that I went to. But it's a phenomenal beer. I give them very high marks on this. I think this was brought to me by our friend Vince, who's been on the, the show a few times. 
Um, I think he brought this, I think he got it in maybe Tallahassee and brought it down here. But I think they do have the Oyster City. I don't know if they have all the different ones, but they sell Oyster City, I think, at the Brew Hub um, over in Lakeland. So um, if you see this, make sure you check it out because I'll tell you, for a little bit higher ABV beer with uh, a nice light profile for the beach or for uh, the pool, I mean, this is, this is spot on. And summer's coming up, so make sure you stock up. Um, so if you've enjoyed this, make sure you tell your friends about beer issues and how much fun we're having talking about great beer and drinking great beer. If you want any cool beer issues gear, like beer issues t-shirts, hats, phone cases, you name it, even fanny packs, uh, go to shop.beerissues.com. And as my wife likes to say, I have beer issues.